<laughs> Let me just say this. One out. What's up, fam? What's up, fam? What's up, fam? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, Big John's back out fishing. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. Nice little fatty. There you go. Woo! Nice one. Welcome back. Hey. Two pounds of nine. Thank, Thank you, sir. Back y'all. Always remember. Keep your lower curtain. Keep your lines. Keep your lines. Is this the one? God bless. God bless. Let's do this. Let's do this. Alright, man. Thank you, sir. What's up, fam? It's been a minute, man, but we are back out here on Blackwater. We didn't come out here at all last year. So giving on to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ without him, none of these things are possible. We are coming down here, man, to see if we can't grab some snake heads. I got a fish fry coming up, man. So we're gonna see if we can't get this thing done. Once again, welcome back. Next show, let's see if we can do as good as we did the first time. All right, fam, what's up, man? We are back on the water. Boy Rob in the house, Rob Outdoors Adventure. We are back in Cambridge. Down here at Blackwater, man. Seeing if I can't get uh, some snakes on. I'm gonna hunt some dragons, but I'll take some snakes. Y'all know what I mean. We wanna see if we can get some of the big boys on. I didn't get a chance to, I didn't get my minnows, man. So I got some, I gotta use all artificial. I had to work today. I'm trying to see if we can get these puppies to work, wake up. Where you wanna go, man? Looks like this wind gonna blow us a little bit, so. I'm trying to think now, man. What, what's your time frame? You know? Um, let's head this way. And maybe down or over. Okay. All right, y'all. Say a prayer. <laughs> First show was off the chain. Let's see if the second show can be off the chain. I really want those minnows for the day. <laughs> so we're going to have to do it the hard way. We're going to have to do it the hard way, man. And they definitely up question is how active so what I plan to throw today I got my MEP spinner on number three uh, not four I don't have no fours but I got the number three on so we'll see I got uh, chatterbait um, of course my swim baits white always white man chatterbait we're gonna see what it takes next week Super Resurrection Sunday. I need to be frying some fish, some snakehead. My church loves it. <laughs> I took them some one time and that was it. When you gonna bring some more snakehead, Rev? Hey, Pastor, can I get some snakehead? <laughs> so that's why I'm out here, man. I'm out here for my people. So I need y'all praying. We need at least 10. I'll take five though. <laughs> you know, beggars ain't choosing. Man, I have yet to explore this whole place. I'm, I'm going to. I haven't been on the Trans Quaking River yet. But I gotta get me a dragon on. I think, I can't remember, I think my PB on Snakehead is only three pounds. So, I'm gonna try to beat that this year. I tell you, man, the one thing that's definitely good about, uh, being down here right now with the wind blowing and uh, 60 degrees is it's pleasant. <laughs> it's nice out here. You ain't gotta worry about the sun wearing you out or the bugs biting you up. Those are always good things. You know, you wanna catch as soon as you get out on the water. <laughs> you know, in your mind, that would be ideal. Don't always work out like that though. Sometime it takes some trial and error to find out just what they're willing to hit.
Man, y'all, we are super shallow. It's like, you know, one foot of water. And mind you, this is high tide. I need to pull my motor out up here. I will definitely be paddling back here. Y'all, man, I done ran aground trying to find these snakes. This super shallow. My motor is up out the water. Has to be. Like I said, I just ran aground with a kayak. Man, what I was getting ready to say though is uh, I'm dedicating. This episode to episode to a friend of mine, man, who I just recently lost. A good preacher friend of mine, uh, Mike Jefferson. Um, and I guess that will be my lesson for the day. Uh, you know, he died suddenly. You know, a lot of times we always think we have more time, but the reality is, no man knows no man knows the day, the time, the place, nor the hour when um, you're going to check up out of here, man. So, you know, you need to make the most of the time that you have. You know, don't put off today. Have well, to tomorrow what you can do today, right? Make the calls, uh, hang out, do as much as you can, man. Uh, because, you know, he just wished me a, a happy birthday, you know, the other day. And we normally get together every now and then, you know, once a year, something like that, because, you know, because of ministry. Uh, but we always touch base. You know, he normally comes preach for me when I can ever get him away from his church. He's about the, one of the preachers that I will allow to preach in my pulpit even when I'm not there because I know he, he, he don't have no nonsense. But, you know, he's gone now. He's in glory, resting with the Lord. That's why salvation is so important, man. So let me just say this, man. You know, whatever you do, make sure you make the most with your family, your friends, because you just never know when that day gonna come and you don't wanna regret it when that day does come because you didn't, you didn't do all you thought you should've done. You didn't do enough. So make the call, if you're mad at somebody, go ahead and apologize, get that stuff out of the way, life's too short. Be holding grudges and all that other kind of stuff. All right? So, there it is, y'all. Lesson number two. Be grateful for your friends, family, and make the most out of the time that God has given us. I think we get out of yeah, because I would hate for it to drop any further or whatever and get stuck. But that's the thing. Literally. Yeah, because the whole area is a flat, though. You know, so. Yeah. I would say let's yeah can you see the mud look at that y'all yeah. see that that's all mud I'm bringing up that's how shallow it is so that means that the further we go back the shallower it's gonna get so they said this was high this ain't hardly high you can see all those dark mounds that lets you know so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna back out bro we're gonna I'm gonna go around that corner Falling up in here and getting stuck and don't even realize you're stuck. I feel like I'm on the saltwater flats. I'm pushing off like a skiff. I don't think y'all praying hard enough for my fish rod. <laughs> I don't hear y'all praying, man. Be something in them pens or something. Oh yeah, snakey is inside the pen. I just seen them jumping. 
How do you get snake heads inside the pen? Was it a snake head farm or something? I need to go and target inside that net. <laughs> Somebody with a shotgun trained in on me. <laughs> All right, I am back from lunch. I figured if they wouldn't eat, I'd eat. Now let's see if we can't get them to eat. Sun is out. Hopefully it's warming these rascals up. And they get in a biting mood. Or at church, I'm gonna be eating fried chicken. <laughs> or some whiting, bought and paid for. It ain't over yet though. But I got a lot of fish to catch. I'm talking about 10. I ain't got one on yet. So you do the math. Man, oh man, oh man. I thought this would be a great day to come out here. 75 degrees. Nail some of these puppies. But that is just not what happened. I tell you what though, the next time I come, and I'll be back, I'm bringing some minnows, man. I will make sure I contact dude. Truthfully, when you come out here, we don't need no tech. Oh. Alright y'all, ministry calls. I'll be right back. Alright, we are back. It's been a minute, man, but... Uh, I've seen some fish jumping while I was on the phone having a conversation. Um, a lot of people don't understand, man, but, you know, ministry is 24-7. You know, when I'm out here, see that? <laughs> I done got stuck already. First, first time back and already stuck. It's all good, though. It's all good. But, yeah, uh, ministry never stops, man never stops and so since it never stops you know when it's time to make that call or answer the phone and that was one call that I had to answer um, but it's what we do you know and God blesses us for that so just know if you go to church and you deal with a pastor understand it's way more than you ever think it is because you don't you know you don't see everything. You just see maybe the one thing on on Sunday morning. But let me just tell you, there's a whole lot to this, man. But I wouldn't change it. I appreciate the call from God to, to handle his word and to deal with his people. And he gives me the temperament in order to which, to which to do that. And this fishing is one of the things that he has allowed me to de-stress and decompress with. So that I can handle calls like I just got. You know, and do things that I need to be able to do that most people don't have the, uh, the heart for. Just like my friend passing, right? <laughs> it's all in life, man. Brains on the just as well as the unjust. I might not catch anything today, but it's all good. It's all good because it's all a part of the process. But being there, being present, that's the battle, man. That's half the battle. So, you know, you do what you gotta do until you can't do it no more. And generally when you can't do it no more it's because the Lord done called you home. Called my friend home. Let me just tell you a quick something about him too. Um, he had an organ transplant, how about that? And uh, I went to see him when he was on his deathbed and uh, I managed to get into the room uh, and nobody really was able to get up in there but I managed to get up in there and when I got up in there, you know, <laughs> he thought I was some angel. That's how delirious he was, and, you know, gone. He, you know, I think he thought I was coming through the pearly gates, you know. I talked to him, he was 
and coherent, really didn't know what I was saying, you know, but I prayed for him, you know, and uh, after I prayed for him, I, I left the body there, and then shortly thereafter, man, my man was back up, and then just to have, suddenly have a heart attack, um, God had the time, you know, and we have to be able to appreciate what God does. So, man, I ain't even planning on getting to all those things, but that's how God operates, and that's ministry. So if you're going through some things, or you, you feel like, um, you know, things ain't working out in your favor, lean on the Lord. I promise you, He'll carry you through. He will carry you through. I thought I could get him to the net. He was fighting hard too. Ah! I sure. That's because I was pushing it too much with the net, trying to get him in. <laughs> Man, he looked like a nice size one too. Wow. I'm stoked now. I'm good for another two. <laughs> Man, I almost had him. Had the net in my hand. All that splashing got him off. That mean that hook wasn't in there good. I almost got the skunk off the boat. <laughs> I mean, how can you not love this sport, man? That right there just gets your adrenaline going. Man, come on, y'all. I see y'all. Well, whatever's around here, they ain't trying to hit me. How about that? Man. Y'all see that? All that jumping right in front of me. Man, nobody eating. Pull this back out. Let's see if this might make a difference. <laughs> oh, that made a difference. Question is, can I keep them? Got him. <laughs> when you are patient and you stick with the game, you're going to get him. All right, you chill. Because we got one. Finally. Oh, yeah, that just came out. Sweet. That 
That's a big board, too. All oh, that jumping right in front of me. And ain't nobody hooked up. Look at that. They all around me, bro. But they not biting. What I'm throwing. That was a nibble. Patience. Grasshopper. Sometimes that's what it takes. Patience. I tell you though. We fished hard. And so. I got one on. That's what's up. I didn't think. They was going to bite. But right now. The wind has laid down. And it's calm. And I'm sitting there watching them jump out of the water. So, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I didn't came too far. And all I got to do is sit in traffic going back. So, see if I can land a couple more. Maybe get that ten I was looking for. Got to get my fish fry, huh? Got another one. Looks like a nice one, too. Come on, he ain't even came up yet. Yo, and this is eight pound test, y'all. He gonna lose me. Uh-oh. Yeah, I might lose this one. He ain't came up yet either. Oh, he got caught bad. That's a car. Dang. Oops. Yeah. Shucks. I was about to say. Just caught. Well, they wearing this line out, though, ain't they? Well, there it is, y'all. We are finishing up the day. Man, great day on the water. Great to be out again, me and Rob. Down here in uh, Blackwater, got some yaks coming in. You probably can't see that, but... We was trying to make it happen. I was trying to make a fish fry for the church, but hey, I only got one. I hooked two. One got off at the boat. The other one, that was by the grace of God. I think the Lord just felt sorry for me. <laughs> and he gave me one because that, that mess didn't hit nothing else. And uh, they were jumping all around me, man. You know, if I'd have had the minnows, you know, it would have been a different day. I could have had a fish fry, but I couldn't find the minnow. I couldn't find the bait boys. You know, first time I came down, couldn't find them. So I don't know what that's all about, but anyway. Guess it just wasn't meant to be. Look, time for me to hit the road. Get on back. Yeah, My man, part's time. Cash. Thanks Stop, for hanging out with me. If you haven't subscribed, don't hit that subscribe button. Is. This is just the this second one. We got a whole Always lot more coming. Bad days, good boys. days. It's all in fishing, man. But look, see that out there? God bless. There it is. God bless. <laughs> hey, fam. This Red right Big Jump. Always remember to keep the Lord first and keep your lines tight. God bless. I'll see you next time on the